We'll install the large brackets first, securing them with T-bolts and flange nuts. With eight sets of these fasteners on each bracket, we can confidently say that the joinery, combined with the internal fasteners, will be as strong as it can be. These large brackets, though installed in multiple locations for now, will eventually be concealed from view unless you take a look underneath the table. Their purpose is to provide significant strength to the joinery, greatly enhancing the overall structural integrity of the table. And only after the brackets are installed will I remove the flush plate, revealing a perfectly executed joint, aligned precisely with both the marked lines on the extrusions. The rest of this section will be assembled in the same exact way, strictly following my flush plate method, ensuring that each part is assembled well and with the strength needed to support the heavy weight later on. This is just one of many projects we'll be showcasing over the next 12 months. I already have a packed lineup of projects for the entire year, and the excitement to share each video is hard to contain. Every project is unique and calls for fresh creativity and design. If you have any project ideas you'd like to see, feel free to suggest them. If it's challenging enough, I'll definitely consider it. This next section will be pre-assembled using the same methods but with 40-40 extrusions instead. The brackets used here are smaller, but they will serve the same purpose. Since this section of the table doesn't need to support extreme weight, the materials chosen are more than sufficient. And to provide additional joinery strength, brackets were added to both sides of the extrusion, ensuring a solid connection with no room for failure. 